Ben and welcome to my channel. My name is Jack Hill. So today's vlogging is going to be about walking into prison, walking on the wing for the very first time. So uh, someone had asked me about this and I just thought it was a slightly interesting topic to do. Um, you know, there's a lot of things to think about when this happens. And I imagine there's a lot of things going around people's minds when they first walk onto the wing. There certainly was for me. Um, all of the preconceptions that you have about prison are suddenly met at this point. So um, let me just explain to you uh, the lead up to me first walking onto the wing. Um, there was three days of me being in uh, police custody. Uh, that's at the police station. You get held there for a little bit of time. Then they decide what prison you're going to go to if you're getting remanded. Um, that's being held in prison before you're sentenced. Uh, and my thoughts on it before, besides crapping myself constantly, um, my thoughts on it before, my preconceptions were that of like Shawshank Redemption and American films, I guess, and maybe a, like Prison Break and things like that. So again, it's all Americanized uh, versions um, of the prison system. And I immediately thought I was going to get delosed, be completely naked, walking onto the wing. Um, you know, I, I literally the scene from Shawshank Redemption when he first goes in. Delosed, here's a Bible, um, give me all your clothes, you belong to us now, and get on the wing. And then everyone's like eyeing you up and, and shouting, oh, I like the look of this guy. And oh, we got a new boy in town, he's purdy. Um, stuff like that. <laughs> Which wasn't the case, uh, for me at least. Um, in other prisons that might be the case, but again, I just tell you my experiences uh, so that it sheds light on the area a little bit. Um, so yeah, uh, I was on a sweat box, I got picked up from the police station, put onto this sweat box, a van, a G4S van, prison transportation, transported to Forest Bank, and then uh, I remember getting off i remember actually looking outside and seeing a lot of walls and concrete and thinking okay so that seems true this is where i'm going to be living for a bit apparently um and um i was really scared oh i remember actually on the sweat box over as well loads of guys shouting about different things someone was saying he got in a fight with police officers and that was the reason that he was coming inside and everyone was like woo um but yeah at the you, you go in with a group of people, or at least I did. I didn't go in by myself, otherwise that would have been a lot more daunting, to say the least. Um, but they strip searched us, um, you know, they checked, they thoroughly checked everything that we had. They kind of processed us coming into the prison, asked us like, okay, so, uh, you know, what's your name? You know, this, this is, inducted us, that's the word. They inducted us and said, okay, here's your prison number. You know, here's your... I think we had cards. I'm sure we had cards. Yeah, we had cards with prison numbers on. Um, and, like, our picture and stuff. Uh, so they, like, processed us, inducted us, and said, okay, this is what's going to happen, basically. You know, you'll get inducted over the next couple of days. Someone will talk to you about this and that and blah, 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 blah about the facilities in the prison and what happens and what what the prison expects of the prisoners. Um, and uh, then after that, it was literally... There was like a lot of well, there was a lot of waiting around in different rooms for a while, um, and at the time there was a lot of heroin addicts. When I went in, I don't know if this is typical again. I, I'd guess at it being roughly typical, um, but there was a lot of heroin addicts coming down from um, you know from being on heroin. Uh, so I was sat in a room full of people at one stage in a um, a holding cell, and I was sat up like, oh, what's going on here? And you know, think a bit scared and trying to figure out things and trying to take in as much as possible. And there was about four or five guys who just had the head hung like this, and a couple of them had just drool, just continually coming out of their mouths, just like that. Not like they were tranquilized, but like they were in a lot of pain, and they just weren't asked about the drool coming out of their mouth. It wasn't like they were doped up or anything. They were just like, oh, "I'm really sick and in pain now," because heroin makes you ill, apparently. Um, so yeah, that was a lovely taste of what was to come, and um, everyone also stunk immediately. Partly, again, you could say because they were heroin addicts, and a lot of them were probably homeless, or at the very minimum, didn't really care for personal hygiene. Um, 
so right and then inducted all that's done they whoever's inducted with me they go right you 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 come with me and then we walk through the prison then as you're going through the prison um at least for me i walked past the yards uh, uh there's loads of yards in forest bank and you have to walk past them really to get to the wings i guess so we walked past a couple yards which was a little intimidating because i, I understand now that everyone looks to see oh who's new who's this new guy coming in or who's this group of new people coming in partly because uh professional criminals and career criminals let's say people who go in and out all the time or people who've just been in and out a lot um for whatever reason uh, prolific fighters or prolific offenders they want to see if they recognize anyone but at the same time there is a level of weighing people up and that's that's partly what comes across in some of the films about people sort of weighing you up and uh, that was a little intimidating but you know it was 30 seconds of us walking past a yard and lots of blokes just sort of looking at you lots of really big blokes lots of all wearing similar looking clothes and stuff you know um it, it can be a little intimidating at that stage um but we weren't actually going on the wing and then uh we got taken you know eventually to the right wing and for me it was there's at the end of the wing on forest bank that i first went on it was the induction wing and there's like two rows of bars uh of actual prison bars like this um dividing like one section to another in fact there's lots of those dividing things um between like a wing to an outside section and then the outside section from that there's another bars you know there's lots of these kind of checkpoints if you will uh where people have to have some kind of access card or you know uh, they have to get let through by uh, by some means and um we got to this point and we stood outside of the two sets of bars and then we could see onto the wing um and there was just loads of well i say loads of blokes there's probably 15 blokes maybe a dozen blokes something like that um collected just there waiting to be let out um because that's what you do sometimes if you want to go to the gym or you know you want to go and do something or you go into a class or whatever you just wait there to be let out sometimes so there was all these guys uh, just standing there and then when we all stood there they all just turned to look at us so you've got like 12 um prisoners who who are already inside staring at all the new guys and that was pretty intimidating because i didn't know what was going to happen um there was no like shouts or jeering or anything like that um and i just sort of kept to myself and i didn't you know maintain eye contact for too long or anything like that um i just I just sort of kept my head down and was like waited to see what was happening chatted with the guys that were with me briefly um and just said hello and stuff i was, I was quite social um i guess i i'm quite extroverted and will happily talk to most people even if it's just going into prison talking to someone next to you who could be like a rapist a murderer it could be absolutely anything um or a violent uh, criminal technically my crime is was a violent violent crime as well so i'm classed as a violent criminal um but yeah uh that was the first taste of it and then all that happened was that they they opened the things some guys came off there was a bit of eyeing up of people just looking at you but what does it matter if someone's looking at you there was no shouts there was no actual threats there was no like even you know visual threats of like or anything like that um so I kind of dreaded that moment of going onto the wing because I thought, oh, what is going to happen? It's it's the one of the big questions, I guess, of like, how do you establish yourself or anything like that? I have heard about guys coming onto the wing trying to make themselves look big, um, but I think that just draws more attention to you. Um, I think the, there's a happy middle ground between looking um, completely submissive and meek and looking completely arrogant, dominant, and trying to be an alpha male. If you can meet a middle ground between those two where... Uh, you look confident enough you're holding yourself well um and you don't maintain eye contact but you're a bit social um it shows a certain level of confidence and that could potentially you know uh, establish your um criminal personality your no your prison personality inside the sort of your inside character um and that's very much what i built on an inside character where i wasn't as extroverted i wasn't anywhere near as I didn't use much of my humour at all because um, my humour is a bit weird and quirky. I didn't want to start doing weird jokes to people um, and them not get it, which happened a lot as well when I was inside. Uh, but I just toned down a lot of different things about my personality and adopted a kind of very 
standard, you know, get along with people, make minimal jokes, make minimal conversation kind of thing, you know, a, a toned down version of myself that is agreeable with everyone. Um, and I, everything went pretty well for me. Um, the induction wings, I think, will always be the slightly more chaotic ones because firstly, you're trying to establish what the hell's going on. Uh, and secondly, everyone else is and everyone else is new to the prison. So there's an adjustment period. And in that period, when people are first put into prison, it can be the time when prisoners are most stressed because they might not be sentenced yet. It could be IPP. They could be looking at crazy long sentences. So a lot of prisoners and the induction wings are very stressed. Uh, the best piece of advice I can give is just adapt as quick as you can, figure out how the prison works and, um, you know, try to make a few friends, um, try to not make enemies as well. That's a good thing to do. Maintain eye contact seems to be um, a bit of a red button for some people. If you just stare at someone for long because you're in, you know, you're like, oh, what are they doing? And they notice, they might go, what the fuck are you staring at or something, you know? So it's best to just kind of have a healthy level of eye contact with anyone, just a glance or whatever. Um, but again, this is just based on my personal experiences. So yeah, um, uh, and after that, there was, I had a couple of bad pad mates. Uh, to start off with crazy unstable people and stuff but I made a few friends on the wing as well that really helped me later on and um, it, it was fine there was a lot of heroin addicts on that wing but you know I, I managed to get through it um, okay until I got moved to the next wing which which was a little bit better <laughs> mainly because there was less heroin addicts and they're always coming to you pestering you for absolutely anything they can get off you free milk like condensed milk so just quite happily go around the wing several times to try and get one sachet of condensed milk. Uh, scroungers, we call them, or creatures. Yeah, that's what we called them on one particular wing, uh, the heroin addicts, because they just came to you all the time and they looked rough as hell. So yeah, um, that's it for this week. I just wanted to explain that a little bit and shine some light on it. Hopefully I have, I don't know. Um, I'll catch you all for some more vlogs and some music and some sketches. And I've got a few other projects coming along as well. Um, near Christmas time potentially um, but I shall catch you all on the flip side and subscribes, likes, comments, shares uh, all really appreciated I love you subs and uh, I shall see you soon bye no bye